63 milliseconds you know 63 milliseconds is it you know uh, D so save all look 63 milliseconds you know this is a exact difference guys let me show you that hello friends it's me Karthik hope you guys are doing really good so in this video we are going to talk about what is the difference you will get in terms of performance when you are using save and save all let's say like you have a list of elements that you wanted to save into a table using the jpa repository okay then you have two options you wanted to iterate over the list with the help of uh, you know a for loop and save it on a save method or you wanted to save that entire list uh, using save all and with this what is the performance difference you will get you can do in both ways but what is the difference you will get we will see here okay so for this purpose what i did is i have created a project with the spring boot uh, latest version of 3 and above version 3.2.0 i have taken then uh, i have used spring data jpa and i have used maria db in order to connect to the database and other things are as part of the different project actually okay. password all those things that's fine okay now let's move into the uh, you know entity here this is a small entity i have created with the name called shop details and the table will be created with the name given here okay so i have used a table annotation and i have passed down the name and the other fields were like id name and address okay so this is a one then corresponding repo i have created here right then what i did is i simply created a service layer as of now and what is a service service is shop service and i have created this list of objects okay until now we have did like this now let's do the save and the save or differences okay so this is my uh, this is my list of uh, entities okay you could see ids i have incremented other fields i just kept it as it is okay now before getting into this i would like to show you this since shop repo is extending the jpa repository right if you get inside this jpa repository there is list crud repository inside this it is extending the crud repository here you have the implementation for save and save all okay if you go into the implementation let's take simple crud repository here you could see here this save all is actually uh, calling the save method itself but here they have given the activate transactional here save method is there the key difference is when you are using the save every time this being called here because of the transactional the new transaction is being created whereas in save all the existing transaction being passed on to the save and that being used okay so that create the less burden when you are using the save all method okay and results in lesser time actually okay so let's show that directly here so we have the list of elements right so let me take something called public void save demo else save uh, save should be sufficient right demo and uh, let me call this method here okay right shop details list is equal to get details list right then let me iterate over this for loop details list uh, you know uh, like hd in shop details list i am iterating over here for each iteration what i am doing i am trying to save you know I'm trying to save that 
element here okay this is one option i have and let me copy and paste it over here so that i can reuse this for second one shop details i have this right list right one second yeah so i have this list right let's use directly that shop repo dot save all now you could see we have this save all method right directly let me use that okay now let me these are the services right let me build the controller around it and see how much time it is taking okay so something like shop details controller okay this let me keep it as rest controller and uh, yeah i think get mapping should be sufficient here get mapping value is equal to value is equal to save shop details okay and let me wrap it acha okay here public void save shop details let me keep it something like this since we have that service right so let me take that service here private final shop details uh well so shop service yeah shop service let me take it as a service here and since we have this we can auto where uh, we can use alox constructor which we are getting it from lombok so i have this right here let me call the save method okay save method that's it similarly let me take one more call save all save all shop details save all shop details okay so what we did in inside save we have saved one we have iterated over the list and we have saved one item at a time whereas come to all the uh, in come to save all we have taken all the list of items simply we have you know applied save all on that list okay so this is the only change we did now let's run this and see if there were any issues we are facing okay what is that endpoint here it is 9013 and endpoint is first let's take save shop details okay let me take that save shop details this is a get i have taken and i have not used anything here now you could see 645 milliseconds it took okay so let me write it here okay so save took 645 milliseconds okay is it inserted into the da the data been inserted or not let's check that <clears throat> is that now you could see shop data right now you could see we got all the data right cool now let me try to delete this so that i can apply save all save all shop details click on it now you could see 63 milliseconds no 63 milliseconds is a you know uh deal so save all took 63 milliseconds you know this is a exact difference guys let me show you that oh, 
so why the difference is happening because inside save for each and every for each and every insert new connection being created and closed whereas save all even though it is using the simple save method the connection is also passed on hence that overburden of you know creating connection will be eliminated okay so that's all i would like to show here